If you're interested in becoming certified as a water operator, there's a few different paths you can take. One way is to start uh, by getting your small water system operator certification. And so there's no post-secondary education requirements to get that certification. Um, here in the Yukon and in BC, you need to take at a minimum a, a two-day course that's related to the content. And then you also need to have 50 hours of related hands-on experience. So here at UConn University, we offer a three-week a three -week program that has one week of classroom training to give you the theory that you need to pass the certification exam. And then we do two weeks of training in our mobile water treatment plant that gets you the 50 hours of operating experience you need. And then at the end of that three weeks, you can go write your certification exam and be certified as a small water system operator. So that would enable you to operate plants that serve populations of 500 people or less. If you're interested in being a water operator in a larger community, you may need to get a certification at a level one or higher. And for those certifications, there, so starting with a level one certification, there's no formal post-secondary um, requirement to become a level one certified operator. But the part that can be difficult is that you have to get 1,800 hours of hands-on operating experience prior to writing the certification exam. And so to get those hours of experience, you can try and get hired on in the community as an operator in training. Also, if you have related experience, if you've been a plumber before, um, or if you've worked doing water sampling or installing pipelines, sometimes um, experience like that can also help count towards the 1,800 hours that you need. If you're looking to get hired on in a community as an operator in training, there is an operator in training designation you can get through certification bodies. And to get that, you need to do some schooling and pass uh, an exam.